So tonight we were um, showing solidarity w with the refugees who are um, currently detained in the Kangaroo Point Hotel. Some of them have been illegally and immorally detained there for, you know, after seven years. I was holding a sign uh, which said COVID-19, just one more reason why uh, to free the refugees. When we rocked up there, there was just like so many cops, like every cop in every corner. Um, they were fining people for things like not having a light or bell on your bike and they were trying to give people move on orders to say they couldn't legally walk around the block. And the I was stopped by police, asked by them what I was doing, told that I was not allowed to be holding the sign uh, and that if I was holding a sign while exercising then um, well that I wasn't allowed to be doing that, that I would be breaking some regulation. They weren't there to keep public safety in mind or keep law and order. They were there to shut down a protest. They were there to try and detain and fine people for exercising, really, because apparently carrying signs is now considered illegal. And so I was told to move on. And when I returned to walking around the block holding my sign to draw attention to the refugees, uh, the police came and told me they were going to find me and then when I said that I didn't think there was a good reason for them to do that or tell me to leave or anything like that, they decided that they would arrest me. They told me they were going to take me to the watch house. The police were very heavy handed in their response. There was a very large police presence out on the street. They were stopping people who were walking along the footpath. They were giving move, in, move on orders to anyone who paused for too long in front of the hotel. Anyone who was carrying a sign was um, immediately told to put the sign down or they'd be in breach of health regulations. So overall, really bizarrely over the top response from the police. We understand a few people got fined for trivial and silly things such as not having a, a bell on their bicycle. People have been fined for the address on their license not being up to date. Um, so it seems like the police are working very, very hard to make life difficult for anyone who's trying to protest down at Kangaroo Point. I'm a doctor. I agree with uh, measures being taken to deal with the public health emergency. The people in the detention centre, they need to be able to avail themselves of the capacity to keep distance from one another as well. We were highlighting this and we were doing it in a way that was not putting anybody's health at risk, not our own or other people's. And it's just really ironic that they're Finding, trying to find us for not abiding by social distancing when them themselves, they're not doing that whatsoever. They're there in masses trying to find us for drawing attention to this inhumane issue. They didn't care. They didn't care about whose, whose health was being affected or potentially put at risk by any of the activities that were going on. They were just com merely engaging in over-policing. Um, and it was, it was completely a political usage of the health crisis to undermine our right to effectively protest. What's bizarre about all this is that um, this same evening, hundreds of people were out exercising around the parks, people gathering in, at South Bank and Kangaroo Point for picnics. The shops have been open and lots of people have been going shopping, even for non-essential items. And all that's allowed and all that's apparently fine under the current health directives. but. Uh, a few people walking around the hotel and um, raising concerns about the indefinite detention of asylum seekers is somehow seen as inappropriate. It's very inconsistent.